Food globalization has opened up endless opportunities for consumers. However, despite its positive benefits, it does present the hidden risk of homogenizing food habits, wiping out traditional and local diets which have been the source of good health and well-being for centuries, as well as an important part of the culture and traditions of many countries. Despite their many differences, nearly all traditional diets are based on a staple diet of fruit, vegetables, cereals and legumes. Meat, fish and traditional dairy products make up the main dishes, whilst edible fats like olive oil are used as condiments. Cakes and chocolate are eaten as treats or on special occasions. In order to promote and protect traditional diets like the Mediterranean one, Italy founded a group of friends of healthy and sustainable diets at the United Nations. It aims to do this by promoting food diversity, the importance of balanced, healthy and sustainable diets, taking into account the importance of food as part of the cultural heritage. The Mediterranean diet, a classic example of a healthy and sustainable diet, has been identified by UNESCO as part of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity since 2010. Much more than just a list of foods, the Mediterranean diet helps build and enhance social interactions. Eating together is an important part of Mediterranean culture and plays a vital role in bringing together people of all ages and social classes. The Mediterranean diet is considered to be the healthiest. Italy is second on the General Globe Health Index and third in the OECD in terms of life expectancy and lower levels of obesity. This is also thanks to the food culture that has been passed down from generation to generation. The Mediterranean diet's guidelines for healthy eating do not limit any food products, but specify the recommended amounts for an enjoyable diet that is both varied and balanced. It's a food culture based on education and awareness, not restrictions. This is why it's essential to educate consumers so that they know what they are eating. Providing clear nutritional labeling is therefore key to provide information that can be quickly and easily understood and avoids overwhelming them with extra symbols that may discourage the consumption of certain food products. The aim of nutritional labeling must be to ensure that the contents of a product can be quickly and easily understood. Eating habits and lifestyles have changed radically in the last 50 years, especially in the developed world. High levels of automation have largely reduced physical activity, and people are increasingly choosing fast food. At the same time, illnesses that are in part related to lifestyle and food consumption, such as obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases, have increased. Restrictive measures put in place to counteract them have often not produced positive results. On the contrary, the Mediterranean model shows improvements. The problem, though, is complex, but an effective solution would be to introduce food education programs into schools and to encourage physical activity. The Mediterranean model shows that a healthy diet, without having to forego the pleasure of eating pizza, cake or any other food, along with public and personal efforts in food education, contribute to a better quality of life.